good, good spring game. I really, you go through and you, you never know how things kind of play themselves out. We didn't really have any injuries tonight. Um, and I think our guys were able to play hard. I, I was really pleased with the amount of live reps we got, you know, about 65 snaps of live goes, which I just think we, our team needs right now. And I uh, got a lot of young guys out there that just need to keep hitting, keep blocking, keep tackling, keep, you know, running to the football and executing, you know, both, both phases, um, offense and defense, did a little bit with special teams. But I but, uh, just thought that that part was what accomplished what we wanted to get done. We wanted to be crisp and sharp. Uh, you know, Peyton obviously had to take a whole bunch of reps himself. So we got uh, tried to give him a little bit of break and get Mike some reps here on some Skelly. And then, uh, you know, you, you, you kind of go back. There was three um, takeaways by defense, which is, was very big. And that's our goal for a game. Uh, then obviously, you know, the other side of the ball gave it up, which isn't good. So we've got to protect the football. And we've really done a good job of that the entire spring uh, on offense. But, uh, but our defense is, is a takeaway driven team. And that's what we emphasize. And we attack that football. And that's what our guys did tonight. So um, just got to secure the ball on offense and keep taking the ball away on defense. And, and uh, so, so some guys made some individual plays. But overall, really pleased with uh, the 15 opportunities that we were given. And I think our guys maximized every one of them. And uh, it was a good, uh, good conclusion to a great spring. I think so. You know, we'll go back and watch the, watch the film. But I think just you know, we kept it pretty simple. Didn't bring a lot of pressures, not a lot of movements up front, but just let the guys just get their eyes right, get their feet set and play football. And, and this, this, the speed that we have as a team, the depth that we have, being able to run a lot of times, you know, ones and twos come in there on defense. And, and uh, we uh, not really any change at all, you know, in the, the level of execution and the, the speed of the football. So those are the kind of things. That's what we got to have in recruiting. we got to continue to – to develop our guys in these next three months. I challenged them after the, after the scrimmage there how important these next three months are and how it's got to be really, uh, you know, an emphasis of the speed development, um, the physicality, the strength. Got to get stronger up front on both sides of the football. We got a lot of young guys need that weight room. Those three months are huge. And so uh, that will be a continual focus for us. But I, I was pleased with just assignments. Didn't have a lot of, you know, a lot of space to work in offensively because the defense was where they were supposed to be for the most part and, and uh, tackle pretty well. Coach, um, Dominic, you guys struggled with injuries, especially with all leg injuries in the career. This spring is usually healthy and maybe as lean and shaking mm-hmm. and everything and moving really well. Is that what you guys have seen out side of the season? Absolutely. I, a year ago at this time, we had him on a, a play count. You know, and that carried into fall camp, and that was really the only way that we were ever were able to get him. But I tell you what, what I, I see it as is, it's a combination of our our strength staff does a phenomenal job working with our medical staff, and that's how I believe it's supposed to be, um, and and that's what we've gotten to, and they work so well together that uh, he's one example of many where um, he's able to go from a guy that's been limited in the past to where uh, it's really become a non-issue. You know, and so even tonight, you know, he was there in the fourth quarter out there making plays, and I told Coach Hurd to get him out of there. But, but uh, you know, his his he's, he is leaner. You know, he's he's strong. He looks really really good, and uh, um, he's able to, you know, he's got his body right. You know, and it, like I said, it, it took us some time to get to that point. But the, the plan that we put him on, but I really attribute that to our strength staff and and uh, Dr. Ray really heads that up, and that part of the component of with with, with uh, Dave Ballou's. Uh, right-hand assistance with our injured guys. And then, you know, with, with Kyle Blackman, our head trainer, just really working well together and getting him – because we need him. We need him to be out there. And, and you can't get ready to play at a high level if you're not getting all the reps. And so that's been a big, big uh, plus for us. Yeah, you know, the, the bottom line is, is that uh, – um, there was a few times where they lost some one-on-ones and, and gave up some pressure, but uh, overall they were they were creating some creases in the run game, which is what you wanted to do, and uh, giving our guys a chance. Obviously, we had just a couple of young running backs rotating in there. A lot of guys didn't go tonight in the backfield that we'll have in the fall, but uh, you know I, I thought they made some growth. Once again, that that group you, you can get on the board and talk about it, but you need to go do it. And then you got film to grade off of it and, and to, to teach off of it and coach off of that. So those. 60 some reps today were really, really big for that young offensive line. Uh, 39 yard touchdown throw, 
Yeah, I think the bottom line is is that uh, we definitely want to, to do a great job of creating more explosive plays, and and that is, you know, I, I do see us throwing the football down the field more, um, and that's by design, you know. And obviously Westbrook's going to be a big part of that. He didn't he didn't participate today, but but uh, he's been doing a really good job of that in practice because he has a lot of vertical speed and he has the length to go with it. Ty can really run. And he's gotten faster, and he'll get faster in these next three months. And and uh, you know Donovan's gotten faster too. And then Wops didn't didn't play today, and and he's a guy that can stretch the field as well and so I think Miles is another guy that you're going to see can, can stretch it so we just got to be able to you know it's just a part of the game that I know we have to have and uh, the play action will set that up and around the football is a big part of it but but uh, yeah I just uh, yeah I want that ball thrown down the field we got some big receivers that do a good job of tracking the ball and, and you know bodying people up and and going and getting it and that will not change and so we just need to continue to make it a focus which we have and uh, that'll that not it's not going to change I want us to have the, the best summer we've ever had with our quarterbacks and receivers and their work. And we've really challenged them, set up some new uh, structures with that to help us with it, with the timing of it all, because we have three quarterbacks that uh, that uh, we all we feel have very uh, you know strong attributes that we want to get ready. And so, um, but that's a big part of that. And part of it's timing too, you know. And so I think that the more they throw the ball together and, and work on the, the concepts that Coach you know, DeBoer has brought to us, it's going to be continue to get better and better. Yeah, I just wanted to get reps, you know, and to me, you know, it's it's all about learning a new system. You know, everything that we do, I sit in all, I sit in every single um, quarterback meeting this spring and uh, just letting grow and learn and just, you know, it's, it's once again, it's hard to learn a system when you're not in there as much. And so I just felt it was important that he got more reps today and which we were able to do and, and uh, um, the timing with the, with the receivers as well, you know, his arm strength and the zip on the ball is, is, is obviously there, uh, but it's, it's more than that, you know, and that's where, you know, he needed that today and he'll need the whole summer to get himself ready to go and then have a great fall camp. And, and, and uh, as those three guys know, the, the competition is on, you know, and uh, that's part of the process of, of this was to me was key tonight. And I'm glad we structured it the way we did. It wasn't a, a ton of reps for him, but it was a lot of good reps. And, and even the ones that we can once again get in there, we'll get in the, on the film room and teach him off of it and help him continue to grow as a player. Yeah, there's no question. I think he saw that t tonight, too. And, uh, you know, he's obviously a guy that uh, has a lot of great qualities, you know, and he's just such a tough, gritty guy that gets first downs. Even today with his legs, he extended play. He's got some key first downs, and he'll always do that. And he's a little limited when you make it as a, you know, he's, he's a, a guy you're just tagging off on in a non-life situation for our quarterback. So, but uh, the, the arm strength is continual. He's in there all the time working extra. Dr. Ray has worked really hard with him to continue to to find ways to strengthen his arm, you know, and then uh, and the confidence of throwing down the middle. You know, we, we were on the perimeter more last year, but we need to throw the ball down the middle, you know, and, and set things up. Once again, the play action game is big for that and the seam routes and the way that we, we read that. So, you know, like I said, he's, he's uh, you know, got so many great things that he brings and, and uh, as a guy that, uh, that our guys, you know, believe in. And uh, he's, he's a great leader and a tremendous person. So he's going to be battling like all three of them will be, but all, all three of them have got to be able to throw that football down the field. That's going to be a big part of us being able to, um, you know, take those quality shots that are going to help us. And it's going to be creating, you know, other plays. It's, it's things underneath, and then they be, it's about explosive plays, whether the ball is thrown down the field or whether it's across the middle and then get the extra yards. You know, those are all part of it as well. And so that's where the scheme comes in, you know, which I'm excited about, the things that we're going to be able to do offensively. So it was a good, really, really good uh, month of practice. And like I said, these next three months are going to be critical. Yeah, you know, they, we were, as you said, we were nine for 10 on the day. And I think that uh, Logan, you know, going into last fall camp, it was neck and neck, you know, and it was even, you know, I, I would have to honestly say, even up till the week before the first game, 
it could have been depending on which day, you know. So they, uh, I just decided to go with, uh, you know, Logan was just a tad bit more, you know, accurate. Um, but but uh, Charles was right there, and uh, and Logan was older and more experienced and been here, and so I just felt like he and he proved me right and had a great season. So, uh, but he knows, and I challenged him, you know, uh, in Thursday's practice. You know, I told Charles beat him out. You know, and then Logan, don't you dare let him beat you out, you know, but that's the mindset. You know, I want guys competing and that keeps him sharp. And so, you know, you never know. And, and, and you know, Charles has been red shirted, so that's years behind him. So he can kick and and uh, so we'll uh, we'll go with the best guy. You know, right now, I think Logan had a tremendous spring. He gets kicked great lift on the ball. And he hit one the other day. It's 60 yarder and it was just, you know, it was very comfortable, you know, and uh, he's just really I think he's he's physically got stronger. And we worked with him and, and, and with our strength staff trying to create more explosive power for him. So, but yeah, you got having two really good kickers is a plus. And, and uh, you know, it's about scoring points. And you got to be able to, as we all know, we won the game last year on the field goal. And, and we're going to have to win more this year on field goals, you know. So those are going to be a valuable weapon for us. Jim and Zach to wrap it up. Coach, you're implementing a new offense. It's always just going up. But, you know, the quarterback issues right now. But are you where you thought you'd be, want to be ahead? Yeah, I, I would say uh, where we want to be. You know, it's hard to, to totally anticipate how it's going to go until you get into it. You know, I didn't anticipate, you know, not having Jack the last week of practice. So that was made a little bit tougher. But fortunately, he got the majority of spring ball already, you know, under his belt, which was good. And then, uh, you know, Peyton kind of had to carry their load here at the end. But but uh, um, I think when you look at uh, you go back and you set your goals, which the first goal was for us to be able to, you know, get better fundamentally in our technique work. And I think that was achieved this spring. And then the goal of implementing the new offense and then tweaking our defense and uh, the things that we did schematically and on the install. And then, you know, getting a good feel for your depth chart and, and just kind of have a better understanding of you know, ones and twos and threes and where they stack up and where, where we are depth wise. So you, you say you, you set your goals and then you go back and look at it and say, OK, where are we at at this point? And, and I'll watch the film and, and kind of get a final analysis of that. But just by observation of this, you know, with uh, today's scrimmage and then, uh, you know, the last 14 practices, I do feel like offensively, you know, the things that we had set to install, we had got to, you know, and now we just got to, you know, we're going to do a summer install as well and then get that reviewed and like everybody does this time of year. But we are going to try to intensify that a little bit, you know, for more than we've done in the past. And I've already explained that to our team and our coaching staff. So, so I just think that, uh, you know, it's critical that, you know, by that opening game kickoff, that's when it, that's when it matters. And then we just build from there. Yeah, I, I told Coach Hart that I've seen enough, okay? I know exactly what Stevie can do, and so I did not want him to get tackled today. And so we put him in on the seven-on-sevens when it was tag tempo, you know, because, uh, you know, it just takes one, you know. It, to me, he's a guy that and, – and I had to sit him down. You know, he's young still to understand, you know, how do you prepare yourself to be an elite player in this conference and still not take – you know, 30 snaps in the scrimmage, you know, and, and take all those hits. And so to still be able to secure the football. So but we got a lot of live goes out of him this, this spring. We just, uh, once I felt good about that he had gotten enough, you know, attempts and carries and, and got hit enough and carried the protected the ball enough. I mean, he's, he's bigger, he's stronger. He's, he's a step faster than he was last year. He's more confident. He runs with more decisiveness and, and uh, you know, you see that growth. And so, like I said, I had seen enough. So the plan was definitely not to have him get hit today. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Elio.